Earthquake in Italy. Attack in Afghanistan. Plane crash in Ukraine. Do you need to know all of this stuff? Almost two centuries ago, we invented a toxic form of knowledge under the name of news. In his famous book called The Art of Thinking Clearly, author Rolf Dobelli argues that news is like sugar to the body, is easy to digest, but can be harmful and destructive in the long run. He lists the top three reasons why news is so prevailing and its toxic sides. 1. The human brain reacts disproportionately to different types of information, such as scandalous, shocking, people-based, loud ones. News producers know this, so they filter out profound, subtle, complex news in favour of the more digestible ones. Result? After consuming such news, we walk around with a distorted mental map of the risks and threats we face. 2. Second, news is irrelevant. Evidence? Just list the news titles that you have come across in the past year. Be very honest and name one of them which helped you make a better decision for your life, career or business. You will find one or two useful ones out of thousands at best. In other words, if news helped people advance, journalists would be at the top of the income pyramid. Three. Third. The news is a waste of time. Take the 2008 Mumbai terrorist attack. Let's say a billion people devoted an hour of their time to follow the news minute by minute. When you calculate the wasted time, that the news consumption wasted 2,000 lives, 10 times more than people murdered in the attack. Considering all of these, the author began an experiment himself. He cancelled all of the newspaper and magazine subscriptions, disposed of the TV and radio. As a result, he stated after a while, I had a new outlook. The result after three years, clearer thoughts, more valuable insights, better decisions and much more time.